The RAIN test was originally published by AATCC in 1947. This standard has been reaffirmed and revised and been in use since it was developed. The Department of Homeland Security, U.S. Customs, requires importers of water repellent and water resistant coats to pass the RAIN test. Therefore, the method's utility for textile research and finishers, as well as for brands, is important to the process of getting goods into the U.S. market. The basic principle of this test is that a specimen backed with blotting paper is sprayed with water for five minutes under controlled conditions. Then the blotting paper specimen is reweighed to assess whether water has leaked through the fabric. This method attempts to predict whether a fabric finished for water repellency, such as in a coat or protective gear, will perform in rainy weather conditions. The rain test apparatus has a 2.5 meter glass pipe with valves at the top and lower locations on the pipe. The intensities of water are controlled by a column of water that can be adjusted by 300 millimeter increments from 0 0.6, 0 0.9, 1.2, 1.5, 1.8, 2.1, and 2.6 meters above the spray nozzle. The spray nozzle on the rain tester has 13 holes in a non-concentric pattern. The water temperature is controlled to 27 degrees centigrade for the test duration. The rain test specimen, backed with a weighed blotting paper specimen, is mounted in a holder that is positioned in a vertical alignment. The spray nozzle is pointed at the center of the specimen at a distance of 30.5 centimeters for the duration of the five-minute test. The water is sprayed horizontally. Three 20 by 20 centimeter specimens are used for the rain test. Each specimen is backed with a 13.2 by 13.2 centimeter standard blotting paper specimen that has been weighed. Fabric and blotting paper specimens are to be exposed to standard atmospheres for conditioning before testing. The layered specimen is clamped into a holder and placed in a mounting device in the basin of the rain tester. After the five minute water flow exposure, the test specimen holder is taken to a work table where the fabric specimen is carefully removed to avoid any surface water from dropping onto the blotting paper specimen. The blotting paper is weighed immediately. The increase in mass of the blotting paper specimen is recorded. If the increased mass exceeds five grams, the results are reported with either a plus or greater than sign. The unique aspect of the rain test is that three specimens are tested at each increasing water intensity level to determine the maximum head pressure at which no penetration occurs, the change in penetration with increasing pressure, and the minimum pressure required to cause a breakdown or the penetration of more than five grams of water. The test can be performed with a single test fabric, two layers of fabric, or a fabric intended for raincoats with its lining fabric.